You stomp through the city with great haste. Sirens sound out, and that can only mean one thing. You prepare yourself inside your mech, and there it is, emerging from the ocean. My god, it's the biggest you've ever seen. They call it King Crabulon. It beelines inland, straight towards the Museum of Priceless Fragile Art. You turn all of your power gauges up to 100, and you fire your rocket fist. But oh no, it bounces harmlessly off of its chitinous armor. Will you be able to save the centuries of priceless culture? Or are you on a mystery quest? Welcome back, everybody, to Mystery Quest, where we're continuing to play Escape from Dino Island. After our group of heroes lands on Dino Island, and an encounter with a herd of iguanodons have left their only means of escape destroyed, they fled through the jungle, taking refuge in an old abandoned building, where they discover the body of a man dressed as a Roman centurion. Everything seems safe until the ground begins to rumble and cracks form in the walls. So you guys are huddled around in the security office on Dino Island, just as a crack has gone from the floor all the way across the ceiling of this large, brutalist building. Mm. And stuff is beginning to fall from the ceiling. Uh, little streams of dust and a few kind of like gravel size uh, bits of stone. But it was all caused by some kind of rumbling on the island. This place doesn't feel very safe to be anymore. The last thing that you remember um, is outside is some real bad dinosaurs. <laughs> Can I use my like engineering knowledge to be able to tell what's... Is this the dinosaur that's knocking the building down? Is it an earthquake? Would I, would I know from just how it's breaking? Uh, I would say... You probably don't need to roll for this. Um, that uh, you think the... the the scale of that rumble mm. uh, that you all felt almost like a minor earthquake like oh that that is what has caused this mm. is not those dinosaurs they could smash through a big door but mm. uh, there is there is an external factor that is causing causing these problems mm. it's the last thing we need mm. yeah it's not a good uh, not a oh. good time mm. on a rail and there's no way out of this place that I've invented. <laughs> yeah, we're in, we're in a dead end room of yeah. a dead end building. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, there's, there's there's a very clear way out. It's yeah. past past the Spinosaurus. Or we wait for the wall to fall down and we leave that way. Ooh. Oh yeah. Mm, risky. risky. Got to be on the right side of the wall when it falls down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Dino Man. You you said there was that a kiosk. The A-N. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> you said there was a monorail kiosk around here somewhere. Tickets for the mono whale, which is shaped like a whale, and that's why it's called a mono whale, not a mono rail, can be bought at the kiosk. Is, is, is that in this building? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he hasn't told me otherwise, so yes! <laughs> the voice in my head. The mono rail does stop here, but you not only need the ticket, but also the the, <laughs> the power for the monorail is off at the moment. I mean, the mono whale okay, is yeah. off. I at love the, the idea. That there's one like jobs worth guy. So <laughs> yeah. No ticket. I think it's like cool kind of key fob type uh, mm. things that normally you'd be given them on your induction. Mm -hmm. uh, that chances are Dino D A N. Um, you have a. Uh, like a lanyard or a cool wristband oh, or okay, yeah. something like that, mm. which um, it charges you every time you use the on a whale. I love that you get charged for everything. Yeah. Every time you use the toilet yeah, yeah. or sleep in your yeah, bed. It. Like, and it just takes you directly ding. out of my wages. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> or you breathe some of the air, actually. Uh, that's for the guests. <laughs> um, I probably, at that point, go, um, yeah. You can get a ticket at the kiosk, or you can use this handy fob. And I rummage through, and I pull out like a regular, like a, a wallet, and I'm just tipping out the wallet. And you see that there's like a, um, Paul Smith is the name on the thing, and it's uh, none of these. Not paying attention to any of the other cards or anything, he just pulls out this one thing, and he's like, "Here's my ticket." 
Okay, you have one, uh, but it doesn't solve the problem of mm. power is out to yep. the monorail. Mm. Uh, that mm. you need to get that up and running if you want to be able to use that, and that will take mm. you straight to the outskirts of the island, where you believe you will be able to make it mm. from the docks back to the super yacht that you had come come in on originally. Okay. Well, if we can find the if we can find service room or engine room or, or backup generator room, I reckon I can get it running. I can jury rig something up. If you can find something like that, great. But right now, um, a I'm going to say a large fist-sized rock falls and kind of crashes onto the desk of the security room. <gasps> oh my god, it's the comets. They killed the dinosaurs the first time around. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> you just need to trick the dinosaurs to come into this room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not, die <laughs> not again! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to say make a, a clever roll to see if that was a comet that killed a dinosaur. But uh, okay. Maybe. <laughs> uh, uh, sweet Alistair begins. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, he turns around and he hands you a... What kind of weapon did you want? Because uh, we'd asked um, originally that you wanted... Yeah. Where is gun? He hands you a gun. gun. <laughs> One standard gun. Thank you. Uh, yeah, he has a gun, mm -hmm. and he gives that to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so dusty in here. <laughs> here, have a gun. Uh, thank you, sweet Alistair Biggins. Thank you. Um, very important. Uh, no, don't kill them, okay? Very important. Don't kill any dinosaur. I need dinosaur for what? plastic surgery career. Um, <laughs> so uh, shoot to hurt or distract, but no, don't kill a single dinosaur, okay? I'm okay, who, sure. who is good with gun? I don't know how to shoot. I'll have a go with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, but no. Did you know that incel scientists bred some of the dinosaurs to follow the laser pointer on rifles and attack those targets? No, <laughs> I hate that. that's the bad one. Yeah. That's the really bad one. Fine, but, right, you know what? I'm... That's why they're incel scientists. <laughs> right, I'm going to use the move best laid plans because it doesn't sound like you guys are doing. And you're referencing the worst Jurassic Park movie <laughs> in the entire franchise. <laughs> uh, and there's a couple of bad ones, but that Whoa. one. Oof. Which one's that one? Is that That's, uh, the second Jurassic World film? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. For Fallen Kingdom, yeah. Where well, they're in the spooky house at the yeah. end. Uh, so, uh, you are. Uh, this chunk of uh, rock has fallen from the ceiling. And it caused you all, like, in a start to look over at these monitors. And uh, off one of the cameras pointing out the other side of the building, uh, there is, like, an old-timey car speeding through the jungle. Like, it's just teared, like, torn out of the foliage. And, like, this is a car from, like, the 1920s. Mm. And it just drives through uh through the frame of the security camera and uh, there's a guy behind the wheel honking the horn <laughs> and it looks like it's being chased by a pack of other dinosaurs and it just disappears from frame what, what? some kind of time science i think yeah are we time traveling we got roman over there dead on floor we got 1920s car boy racer mm. what is happening oh, we... and dinosaurs oh, and dinosaur <laughs> of course yes yeah, so i forget that <laughs> <laughs> um we got to get out of this building before we worry about the, whatever shenanigans are going on okay out yes. there. all right uh you take um, gun uh, okay i don't think we're yeah, Cuckoo somehow and child I am the most it. trustworthy man with <laughs> oh, gun. Well, you know, I, I'm not bad with a gun. Oh, I don't like playing video games. <laughs> and at this time, it's 1993, actually, so... <laughs> yeah. I suppose, like, Doom might have been made at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Come on, son, I've seen you play Time Crisis. You suck at it. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, Lord. He's harsh but fair. <laughs> See, that's why he doesn't get the gun. <laughs> uh, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the crack in the ceiling gets bigger. It runs all the way down now to the other side, the other wall, and more stuff is falling down. I'm going to say that 
if you guys don't act soon, mm. this this room feels like it might collapse. What kind of uh, uniforms did the security guard? Have? <laughs> 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 you born question. Yeah, do they have like? Were they? Did they have like? Uh, was there like a in case of a riot? Did the security guards have like a SWAT supply? Do they have helmets? Do they have shields? Uh, roll me a. I will say if you give me a a scavenge, I will let you roll this. Okay. Uh, uh, which is roll versus you're clever. Roll versus clever. Nice. Um, so even though this is kind of a perilous moment, I'm the game's master. I'm choosing the rules. I've rolled eight. <laughs> eight. Uh, you find something handy, but you make a lot of noise. <sighs> you can pretend no dinosaurs heard you if you want. <laughs> uh, yeah, you manage to uh, open up going through the rest of these cupboards. Sure, what do you want to find? I want to find, like, yeah, some helmets to protect our heads from falling debris mm -hmm. and potentially some sort of, like, shields that we might be able to use to either buffet the dinosaurs and also just carry above us uh, so we can not have any debris fall on us as we move out. I will say you can have... You can have those. Yeah, wow. yeah there'll be some, some helmets. Mm -hmm. There can be some shields. Uh, they've I'm got... I'm not going to wear a helmet because it will really hurt on my messed up ear. Mm, that's fair. Whereas ceiling <laughs> rocks is much better. Yeah, yeah. yeah but like, <laughs> it, it's a massive open wound where the ear's been ripped off. I don't think having a helmet yeah. mush in it no, is fair. a good plan. In the case I'm, of disaster, this... incel security is primed to help you. <laughs> they can wear helmets and shields. If you have caused the incident, please lie down and take your beat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there are special beating sticks there <laughs> as well. Uh, but yeah, no, you can each have a uh, a helmet Wonderful. and uh, yeah, Another there shield. Are, are shields as well. You can happily have those. Great. Okay. Right, we got to go now though. We have used mm. a lot of time. Let's yeah. go, go, go. So, so we're we just going to try and run past the dinosaurs or? Well, maybe we can find a window to climb out of <laughs> instead of having to go past the big boy. Yeah. Like in the corridor what if we something? stuffed Alice yeah. the Biggins' pockets full of cream eggs mm. and pushed him towards the dinosaurs? <laughs> I'm stood right here, guys. I'm stood this, right this, here. This is Laurie talking and not. <laughs> as cream eggs are falling out of his yeah, pockets. As he's, as he's literally chucking, as Dan <laughs> did, he's chucking cream eggs into Alice the Biggins' coat. Oh, uh, don't sacrifice me. I'm, I'm everyone's favorite member of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the biggins. You know. No, from... sorry, you're NPC. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fan, NPC, non playable character. He begins, he begins oh. to have this existential crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Don't let the incels tell you you're an NPC. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're my favourite. Um. <laughs> yeah, we've got to, we've got to get out of here. Let's oh, go. this, this place is all going to, all going to all hell. Did you know the dinosaurs are most often drawn to the most charismatic and leader of the party? <laughs> I guess it would be me, <laughs> Alistair Biggins. <laughs> uh, we, we've got to, we've got to get out of here. Go. Let's find a window to climb out of, because uh -huh. the dinosaurs in the door. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll say, give me like a lay of the land or a just do it roll. Uh, one of those. Who's oh. taking the lead? It looks like you're taking the lead. I did it. I rolled an oh, 11. An 11. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, you are. You built secret bases before. And I, know. I know where a secret exit or a moving bookcase goes. Or at least you will know, yeah, like going towards the back of the building, like there's got to be a fire escape or something, even though they said there was only one entrance. That's madness. Um, or you'll be able to get out near where the, the monorail is taking mm. taking off, which is deeper into the building. Um, as you kind of tear out of there, um, you can get easily avoid the dinosaurs. Um, Alistair Biggins, he like turns and has one last look just as the room is beginning to collapse. And on these computer screens, there is a figure stood just looking up at the camera and he's like, it's him. He did it. We've got to run. And then all of the computer monitors kind of crash down as just larger chunks of masonry and uh, just parts of the building are caving in. And the security room is just absolutely destroyed. And you guys are just taking off, running deeper into this uh, this facility. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yikes. Did it have to begin to survive? Yeah, he's fine. He's a hero. He's the main character. <laughs> he's he's jogging along with you, dropping cream eggs. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god. Uh, but you can see the the rest of this building. There are cracks everywhere. It's not as immediate peril, but it is not looking it is not looking super hot in here at all. Mm. Uh, yeah. Um, should we? I see. I I guess I'll ask him if he knows if there's like a maintenance room, a power generator room, like something to fix the room where the monorail can be fixed. Uh, yeah. There's the um, there's a control room. Uh, there should be there should be some kind of power there, but um, I've not. I've not been back over there. There's there's dinosaurs out in the jungle. I've just been been here. I was on my break when it all went down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's probably where we'd go to turn on the power. So it lead the way, sweet Alistair. <laughs> uh, I think you're probably. He doesn't know exactly where it is. Oh. Mm. Have I been around the block and been there? You can 100% make me a dice roll if you want to. All right. Uh, that is a 10. Great. You tell me where it is, what uh, is going on. Uh, okay, so it's a... I think we're, we're talking the power generator bunker from Jurassic Park. We're talking it is across the way. Mm -hmm. It is past the Raptor Pens. Ooh, do you guys want to go over the lake? Ooh. You yeah. had a lake nearby. Okay, we could go... Yes, yeah, so let's put it over the lake. There's a, it's On the other side of the lake, there is a smaller compound, which is built very much like this, but set deeper into the earth. Um, which has a you same sort of design, much, much smaller, uh, but the brown sort of disappears off into the earth and you can go in, there's a staircase down and that is where the backup generator is. It's both a uh, like panic room for if anything mm. was going to happen, but it is also where all the backup generator and supplies are stored. Mm, potentially. Great, yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, you um, kind of come out of this building and you can see the whole, the main structure hasn't collapsed, like this big central hexagon. Is fine, but there is like a rent in the earth leading up to it, and you can see a lot of it is obscured by jungle. But there are now these kind of like fissures beginning to form oh um, in the landscape, and it kind of runs into the building. And what you imagine to be where the security room was has completely collapsed, and other sections of this building are falling down. Um, as you make it out of this backside of of the building, uh, you can see the monorail. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you can see the monorail uh, line that kind of sweeps through the jungle, like high up in the treetops, and then pulls down into a station, which is uh, by these dormitories, and then continues off as like mm. some big continuous circuit. Uh, but yeah, you are at mm. the side of what is quite a large large lake mm -hmm. uh you could you could swim across it sounds like a terrible idea yeah. mm. across this <laughs> lake is the command center where the backup generator and panic room is stored mm. oh sweet alistair oh, oh, can you be more specific about who him was who <laughs> did it oh that i don't we we don't know who he is but he showed up uh he showed up the night that everything all went wrong. We saw him on the, we saw him on the cameras, and uh, we, uh, he's to do with it all. What did he do? We well, we think that he's the one that disabled disabled the power, and that's what let all the dinosaurs run amok. Run amok they did. <laughs> they ate they ate so many people. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, though. <laughs> Not Alistair Biggins. <laughs> they wouldn't they dare. Hey, well, <laughs> I heard, you see. He eats a cream egg. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, he, he, was, he was there that night. We think he, he sabotaged. He sabotaged what's going on here. Where, where is he? Where did, was that camera that we saw him on? Over there. And he points to, yeah, you can see kind of like the side of the building where a camera would be pointing down. But it's probably like a, a like 20 foot kind of gap all the way around the building of like cleared, cleared forest where the gravel or something has been laid down. And he would have been stood there. He's not there right now. <laughs> who was in the car? We saw a man driving a car. Who was that? We, did we oh, see yeah. who it was? You know, the man in the old-timey car. Yeah. What? You s did, did you see the old man in the old-timey car? 
I was eating cream eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for weapons. I was I was trying to help help us survive this place. Okay, I'm okay. a man of action. <laughs> <laughs> All vehicles within the park are on tracks, on rails. Yeah, we don't we don't have any cars here. No, it's def I saw two. All As cars. members of the public, yeah, please no do not wheels. touch the wheels. Uh, nice. Who is nice. who is Roman man who's dead? I've got no idea. Um, like I said earlier, I heard some screaming, and then I hid in the cupboard, and I was trying to radio, see if anyone anyone could come and help me. you never seen a Roman man before in your life? Well, I've seen books. Oh. <laughs> okay, yes. Well, we've all seen books, like. <laughs> the park facilities can be rented for many different occasions. Weddings, stag do's, hen do's. <laughs> Maybe this was an answer. <laughs> reenactments. Uh, um, maybe reenactments, yeah. yeah. Um, also, also, do dinosaurs normally walk on the side of walls? Um, I, I don't know. I'm not a dinosaur expert. Oh. I couldn't remember the name of that dinosaur that walked on. <laughs> <all over laughs> I don't even know what. I still don't know. <laughs> In cell scientists have practiced merging the DNA of many dinosaurs that they took from amber and with many different animals, including spiders, including oh, <laughs> spider God. monkeys, including <laughs> regular monkeys. Spider men! Spider hybrid dinosaur. Oh yeah, that's probably a good time to mention, like you're stood kind of on this uh, this clearing by, you know, the gentle lapping of the, the lake. And like in the tree behind you, you can see there is a huge like coconut sized spider just oh. hanging out, uh, just, just there. Doesn't seem to be bothering anyone. It's not interested in you guys, but it's there. <laughs> Has anyone got a really big cup? <laughs> <laughs> and a really big piece of paper? Ah, <laughs> oh, scary spiders, me! <laughs> oh no, Casper! <laughs> 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 spiders! Uh, uh, deal with it, uh, please! <laughs> Dave, Dave, I'll call your dad once! I'll call your dad once if you, if you deal with it now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, son. Just drink a cup of cement and harden up, will ya? <laughs> you always say that! It's so hard to drink! <laughs> Such a classic northern thing. <laughs> so, so thick. So classic yeah. thing. Drink a cup of cement. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you want to you deal with the spider? Do you want to fight the spider? You've, You've got, got a gun. gun. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing us any harm, is it? You'll be alright. You'll be alright, son. Don't try and claim that it's more scared of us than we are of it. Because I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing we need to be doing now is shooting off guns and making a racket and bringing down every dinosaur around on us. No, it's true. Although so I just quite don't like look at it if you don't like it. <laughs> There's nothing scarier than not knowing where a spider is when you know a spider's in the room. All right, then look but at it. I don't, well, I don't care. Just look at it or don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Make up your mind. Okay, well, this this feels like a moment where nothing is really happening, so it feels like I should be making a God. move. <laughs> feels like I should do oh. something... Uh, it's not. No, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go to the bunker. We promise. We promise. <laughs> we were just having fun with the spider. <laughs> <laughs> you already made a spider. That was your go. <laughs> it's our go now. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, to get across to the bunker, you uh, either yeah, you um, it's it's like a a big swim. Uh, just. Can we from walk where around it? from where you are stood. If you walk around it, it will take a while. Also, bear in mind, night has fallen. Oh wait, yeah, oh. we can't go night swimming. It is. What about very dark? Very dangerous. dangerous. Um, I've got a skill. Oh. Okay, you can construct something substantial like a raft, a bridge, or a shelter. What? A bridge across the lake. Wow, <laughs> oh, let's do it. A bridge. It's going to take a lot of Twinkies, but I think we can do it. <laughs> no, you... How many? How buoyant is a cremo? <laughs> you have to use the tree with the spider in it. Oh, oh. check off spider. <laughs> <Pays off. laughs> ah, my plan. He's on the only tree big enough. <laughs> And he has a riddle for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is the answer time? <laughs> oh, wait, you've had it before. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, right. Well, so... incel scientists spread all of the spiders with Stephen Fry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Um, okay. So, That's quite interesting, actually. On a, on a 10 plus, it's excellent engineering. On a 7 to 9, choose one, blah, 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 on a miss. Um, it has a floor you don't notice. Okay, so what? Do you want to make a... Try and make a raft. I feel, I feel like a bridge might be. <laughs> nah, let's a, do it. It's a bridge too. We're gonna. Far. We're gonna it's, a too far. <laughs> it's a bridge too far. It's a bridge too far. We'll make the Clifton <laughs> suspension bridge. I've just yeah. signed one person to take point on construction. Uh, roll on, clever. <laughs> Father. <laughs> and then whoever leads construction, you get uh, the number of people who help add to the dice roll. Oh. Oh. Great. So I guess I'll I'll be the foreman mm. and I'll 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 have a cup of tea and tell you if you're doing it wrong. Now you you go there and chop down that tree and you strip off the bark. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I am a doctor. Oh, the tree bark. <laughs> yes. Strip off. You're taking the shoe off. It's already begun. <laughs> Help us in any way. <laughs> oh, okay. And you, you, son, you go see if you can find us a long wait. All right. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay. So you're having uh, two assists on this as you don't let the boy help. <laughs> well, you do. You got to break in an apprentice. I. <laughs> they. What's it called? Hazing. I was hazed, and you're going to be hazed. <laughs> I'm going to. To venture, I suppose, into the woods. <laughs> uh, <laughs> try and find a long wait. <laughs> okay, this sounds... Sounds dangerous to me, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I feel like you'll be making a scavenge roll and everyone else is making a, b a build, build a boat. We're just adding to the help roll, aren't we? Mm. So if you're going to build your boat first... <laughs> so I only rolled a three, but I get plus two because... No, I get plus one because I'm a clever plus one. So that's And I get extra two for you guys helping. So that turns into a six. Still a fail. A six. Is still okay. Still a fail. So well, on a fail, you uh, do it, but there's a flaw. Flaw that we didn't notice. And we when it comes up, the DM will tell you. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sure this won't be a problem at all. <laughs> I'm sure to the back of a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> it won't come up when we're on the water. That'd be ridiculous. And pitch black in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> oh okay. Just to make it worse, if we'd got another plus one, we would have passed. We would have got a seven. Oh, it's the boy. And you have a seven. Are you sure this doesn't help us somehow? Because all builders do it. Uh, no, you put you told him to go and do something that has wasted his time. So uh, can I have a scavenge roll, uh, please, for Casper, the friendly boy? Uh, so that is seven plus one. That's an eight. An eight. Uh, okay. You find something fairly handy, but you make a lot of noise. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what what do you own. like to find in the woods that you think would help? Well, I'm uh, I'm thinking, like, what, what could a long weight be? So I'm going to find a long rock, because it's a weight. Oh. Yeah, that's what he must want. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you find this uh, this long this long thing. Yeah. Um, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna, great, I'm going to grab that. And you, yeah. you yank on it, and you don't realize the it's kind of like a piece of some kind of perimeter fencing type thing. Mm. And as you're pulling on this thing, it's really, it's really jangling a lot. It's really kind of jangling further down as you uh, yank this thing and yank this thing. And who's that licking his lips that just emerges from the dormitory? Oh, it's your good friend, the Spinosaurus is... Uh, He's kind of poking his head out to see what's going on. Oh. Uh, you can head back to the raft, which yeah. is just being completed. <laughs> and it's absolutely perfect. I found a long word. Oh, good job, son. <laughs> well done. Great. Oh, this raft looks absolutely class. You know what? If we make it to the other side, I will accept you as my father. <laughs> oh, no. But only if. <laughs> Did you know that the average time for a Spinosaurus to eat a Gallimimus is about the time it would take to build a raft? <laughs> yeah. yeah, an amount of time has passed. <laughs> well, you're really quick. Well, look, looks good to me. Best raft I ever built. Uh, yeah, this, uh, as you say, though, the Spinosaurus is seeing you guys and is beginning to walk, walk towards you curiously. It has heard the noise and is sort of heading in your direction. And we can all see it, I presume. Yeah, you yeah. can hear the pounding of its footsteps and uh, it 
He's got a lot of blood on his face. Oh, Time to go. Well, yeah. we can use those shields as like paddles. Oh, oh I love that. Nice. Uh, yeah, you are able to uh, to launch this raft, mm -hmm. and uh, we can use one on the front and one on the back to like stop it mm -hmm. bringing on water. And we can have two at the sides for paddling. Nice. Oh, that's a smart, smart Dave. And uh, I have pen light to guide mm. us where mm. we go in darkness. Perfect. I have a terrible stench. Is that helpful? Oh, no, yes. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Maybe I've, you won't want to eat us. I've, yeah. a, I've also had a spear this entire time. Oh, my God. Ooh. I've okay. Got, I've got some dinosaur jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> what do you call a dinosaur always uses big words? A thesaurus. Hey. Hey. Oh, this is great. I'll give give more of them later. <laughs> so you managed to push push off into into the lake as the kind of curious spinosaurus mm. sort of makes it up to the water side. Uh you it's not too much time pressure, but it's just stood staring at you. Uh very very intently mm. as you begin to drift gently on, onto the moonlit lake. Merrily, 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 <laughs> merrily. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to give you a choice of problems. Oh. Would you like your raft to fall apart? <laughs> or creatures to turn up? <laughs> creatures? Creatures? I feel because like, then we have a raft. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the raft falls yeah, apart. Yeah. If the raft falls apart, we could then fail and then get creatures. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But we might be able to just like hold the raft together. A little bit maybe. Titanic action. Yeah. Only room for me. You all uh, around. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's nice. I'll say, make your decision now, or you get both. Ooh. Oh. Okay. We'll give creatures. There's creatures. Yeah, it is. Creatures, creatures. Great. Yeah. So as you're paddling in the uh, sunlight, mm. uh, sunlight. The sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the reflection of the sunlight off the moon. That is uh, technically true. Uh, so, and so technical technical truth is the best kind of truth. Yeah. Mm. Actually, we're stupid. Uh, <laughs> once again, <laughs> I'm in charge. <laughs> uh, so as you are paddling along. Mm. Uh, where Casper, where you are sat, um, you're there using the shield, you know, get, having your best go. Like from the side of like where these logs are bound together, slowly and steadily, these eight long legs pull themselves out of the water. Ooh! And it turns out the tree you uh... chopped down. Well, I only had a big, big spider. <laughs> this big, or coconut-sized spider. I told you to strip all the bark off. I meant the spiders too. I did too. not understand your directions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Help me. Save me. Save me. Save me. Any one of you, I call your old dad if you like. I don't care. Somebody save me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> In your panic, uh, unless it is dealt with soon, the spider is going to attack you. Okay. Oh, shoot! Okay. Shoot it! Shoot! Sure. <laughs> there are over 100 species of venomous spider in this park. <laughs> I'm going to shoot it because if I shoot the raft, David, uh... I'm going to bat it off the raft with the with the shield that I'm <laughs> using as a paddle. Away <laughs> I'm paddling, and there's a spider, so I'm just going to whack it with the shield and knock it into the water. Sure. Uh, that sounds like a fight roll to oh, me. No, minus one. Uh, you get plus. Uh, so fight roll is just a straight roll. Uh, oh, but you okay. get plus one if you've got a weapon. No, oh, I do. Uh, so, roll me a dice. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Worst dad <laughs> ever! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I hate you, dude! <laughs> I hate you so much! <laughs> well, you might not hate him now, so you try to make the flight roll. Um, if you get a miss, you instantly make a casualty move. It even says sorry. Um, oh. So casualty, uh, when you're grievously <gasps> when you're grievously hurt, oh, no. or you take an injury while already injured, uh, you're in bad shape. Tell someone your darkest secret or unfulfilled hope, and choose one. You get one for final heroic act oh. and die. <gasps> oh or my God. 
You're out of commission until uh, you're unable to do anything, but mm. your character will survive if others get you off of the island. So. Oh, wow. oh my God, you're dead. So I can choose to just be a lump that has to be dragged to the finish line. Uh huh. Or and I not can, fix the spider problem. Or I can go out in a blaze of glory. And. You and will... this, this is because I'm already injured, right? If, I'd already, if no, I wasn't injured... No, this is because you failed a fight roll. Oh, wow. If you fail a fight roll... You just die. You basically <gasps> die. Oh the game God. is not about fighting. No. It is about... How does it kill me? Does it, like, well, kill me with eggs or well, something? We'll, we'll or like... decide... <laughs> we'll... Ideally not, if, we, yeah. if you want us to drag you to the finish line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a magic spider. Spiders, yeah. But when Already it bites you, eggs. you turn into a million spiders. No, I'll let you choose what you want. Oh, my God. God. What That's... you want to have happen. Oh my God. Well, I can't, being a lump sounds boring, doesn't it? So, shall I just blaze of oh, glory? It could be beautiful. I do have yeah. backup characters. For your relationship. Yeah. Yeah, really fix it. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, okay. Um, Jeez. Oh, Tell dang. someone your darkest secret or unfulfilled hope. Well, uh, so are you going to mm. choose death? I'm going to... I think I'll choose death because... Lump is worse than death. <laughs> okay, uh, you you go to hit the spider with your shield, mm -hmm. and you like you bonk it once or twice, um, completely drawing its attention. Like it was just about to bite Casper the friendly the friendly boy, um, but it springs and it jumps and it bites you, uh, pumping you full of venom, and. You are able to like rip this thing off of your neck. It takes like a huge chunk of flesh and kind of kill it with your bare hands and you throw it off into the lake where ominously a shape just comes in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you then collapse down. You are going ghostly pale and sweating profusely. Uh, this is, this is the end. Uh, you have some last moments. Casper, ah, you're not gonna make it. No, don't say that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not your real dad. No, <laughs> don't laugh at him. Look, <laughs> <laughs> right, no, we're gonna have one emotional I'm moment, <laughs> and then we'll get back to the titty dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll shut up. Come on. Okay, we're back in the back of the room. <laughs> Raft the moonlight. You um more of a real dad than I ever had. My real dad got lost on a dinosaur island somewhere many moons ago, but you're the one who raised me. I'm proud to call you dad, really. Really? Yeah. Sorry I was such a prick to you all the time. No, I'm sorry I was a little shit as well. And I was a fucking doyle. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> takes Polaroid photo, just a flash right in his face. I'm frothing at the mouth. My eyes are bleeding. Love you, Dad. <laughs> And with that, oh. his eyes, his eyes close, and he just lets out a gentle. Uh, yeah, and you're uh, Dave. Dave is dead. Dave is dead. Oh, oh poor Dave. Oh, poor you should Dave. take my toolkit. I've got like. Uh, Dave is kit. dead. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh. Remember what I taught you about tools from that. <laughs> Let's throw his tools into the sea. <laughs> 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 Oh god. Uh, <laughs> oh god, and the whole time Alistair Biggins is sat there like I don't really know you guys very well at all. This is quite an emotional no, moment. I you were there. Yeah, I forgot I was here as well. <laughs> I really could have helped more with the raft. Yeah. Yeah. Like, or the spider. Or the spider. <laughs> Just completely Fucking not. Alistair Biggins. You are the main character that you yeah. need to survive with. Yeah, such yeah. protagonist <laughs> energy. <laughs> From hell's heart, I stab at thee. <laughs> okay, okay, son. Uh, you look. I'll be your father now. <laughs> oh, all right. I accept you immediately. Here you go, and he hands you his gun. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> okay. I always 
Yes, I hated you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Many of the dinosaurs in this park are attracted by dead meat. <laughs> He's very sad about Dave. May he rest in peace. I throw him over. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, man. His body sinks because of that heavy tool belt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It goes straight down to the bottom. Uh, and yeah, you guys make it. Uh, you make it over to the other side. <clears throat> One, it, it's actually a lot faster now. You're one person less on this boat. Um, but it turns out it, anyway, was perfect. it was perfectly made. There was only there was a spider on board. Oh, that, was, oh, that was the floor. That was, that was the floor in the boat. Spider passengers. Uh, but yeah, you have uh, solved my lake riddle. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, you are not that far away from this other compound. Mm -hmm. um, there are these like big. Uh, big electrified fences um, that lead onto um, this second facility, this much more fortified kind of security bunker um, that uh, Laurie had described earlier. Um, but it doesn't look like the power is on to these fences whatsoever. The gate <laughs> is <laughs> wide open at the moment, but down into that facility is where apparently the, the power, power is controlled. Um, but you are immediately alerted to, like, all of a sudden, just the noise of a plane flying overhead. And it is flying pretty low. And this kind of just came out of nowhere. Uh, it, you didn't, like, start hearing it in the distance. Just all of a sudden, there is a plane. You look up, and it is tearing through the sky, being chased by a whole load of flying dinosaurs that seem to be attacking... This plane, uh, anyone who's kind of like familiar with planes, it looks like it might be like a World War II, like fighter plane. And it is having a bad time. And uh, you see one of these creatures maybe uh, goes into the, the rotor blades. The engine catches fire and you see it just fly, what looks like maybe like a mile or so into the jungle, crash and you hear like an explosion. Anyway, on with your uh, base basement adventure. <laughs> well, that's not in the direction we're going, so let's go this way. Uh, yeah, so you make it to um, this kind of control room, uh, this uh, like this dark corridor. Uh, it's down like a big long staircase. Um, it, the door has been open um, for a little while, and there are clearly footprints that have led into and out of this building. And on the door, mm. you can see that there is like a bloody handprint sort of like smeared alongside this quite like heavy, heavy metal door. If you guys want to head, head on, head on down into my lovely uh, <laughs> trap. <laughs> trap. It's trap. A, it's, it's, trap. Not a, it's not a trap it's at all. A trap, isn't it? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go on, why not? Uh, let's yes yes <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Uh, Dino D A N, you have been here before, haven't you? Mm -hmm. So you know the layout of this yeah. place. So actually, you can. I was going to say maybe uh, like there's a place somewhere where I've been making my camp. Mm. Um, I wonder if this is it. Uh, 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 maybe you... in one of the rooms in here that I could have had, but I don't think. Dino Dan is anywhere near cognizant enough to be like, oh, I could turn the power back on from in here. Okay, yeah, no, hundred percent. Like, yeah, you rolled, um, you rolled really well before, and so yeah, you you tell me about how it is going down into, sure, into this place. So going down the stairs, it's uh, there's like a long kind of metal gangway above a bunch of sort of machinery that's all. None of it's working. There's lo lots of like large power bank sort of seeming things with lights on them that aren't lit currently. And this gangway then splits off into like multiple different routes. There's a route to the left, a route to the right, and then a route straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead, you can see that at the end of the thing, there's this huge console full of all these different levers that have different plaques above them saying what they are and what they might do. Um, currently, the light on that is just blinking red. Um, there's a lever that needs to be pumped on one side of that, I'm just describing the bit from Jurassic Park. Turning to the left, um, <laughs> turning to the left, you you have kind of another gangway that's got like smaller little office style rooms in it. Uh, 
Dino Dian is going to go straight that way, turn left, and he's going to go into like the room at the end of that corridor. And you can see that as soon as he opens it, all this junk starts to like spill out, and he sort of starts wading in there uh, and starts rummaging around. Where you've just been hoarding things. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Casper and Natasha, uh, how are you? Are you going to follow him in? Are you want to go straight to the power? Like, do you have? Oh, uh, I think I, uh, <clears throat> Natasha Roman. I follow you. I follow Crazy Man because yeah, I yeah. I don't want to get attacked by dinosaur roaming around free. This place is not electrocuted. It's probably full of big giant spiders. I'm going to follow him. Yeah, I'm going to follow him too. I'm going to say, Biggins, are you coming this way? Or like, do you know where the power is in this Oh place? yeah, Alistair Biggins is still here. <laughs> 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 I saw a man die. I saw a man die. I'm I'm just so shell shocked <laughs> from that moment. Uh, I forgot you talk about yourself in the third person. <laughs> That's me, Alistair Biggins. It's partly to help me remember my own name is why I, why I say that a lot. Uh, but, uh, yes, but I don't know why. We, we just need to turn the power on. Uh, we I, just need to get on with this. Well, where is the power in this place? Well, it's down the gangway on with the blinking lights. Oh, let's point. do let's it. Let's just go. It's this, yeah. Yeah, that go? direction, and uh, in the direction of where the uh, blinking lights are, uh, a lot of, down this long gangway um, above all of this machinery, you can see this uh, this figure who is fucking around with the power generator. Hmm. They are doing something with it. They've got their back to you. Um, they haven't heard you coming in as they are. Having a go at the at the machinery themselves, not destroying it, but interfering with it. And <laughs> drop the machinery. <laughs> and uh, that character turns around, and it is like a like a sixty year old man. He's pretty wiry, and uh, wearing like a a big kind of duster coat with a mad beard, uh, long crazy hair they look absolutely weathered uh what do you say as <laughs> a gun that has been drawn on you by some little kid huh. drop it kid why would i drop it you stop pressing those buttons <laughs> i'm trying to turn the power on you idiot all right no need to be rude <laughs> <laughs> I'll put the gun away. <laughs> <laughs> so we clearly want the same thing. <laughs> <sighs> and then I get back to pulling levers and pressing buttons. Yeah, great. Okay, so they're doing they're doing that. Um, Natasha, what are you up to right now? Mm. Are you with oh. Dino Dan? Or... Okay, well, actually, I don't know. I would want to go with Dino Dan. <laughs> Into his nest. I think I would have actually <laughs> gone with... Um, yeah. Yeah. Alistair, Alistair Biggins and Casper. Mm. Um, I would have gone with them. I know, <laughs> Dino Dan. Yeah. Um, what are you up to? I'm having a rummage in my stuff. Um, mm. I, I think Dino D A N. You go into his like hovel room. Uh, he's obviously got like a kind of. He's built himself like a sort of rudimentary uh, dinosaur nest thing that he's been sleeping in out of like, it's like layered up leaves and uh, foil wrappers of various <laughs> yeah. uh, I love this. confectionery. Yeah, like books and um, posters. Yeah, and, and he's got like books and posters and you can see that like one corner of the room, there's definitely like way more cohesion to what was going on here. He clearly got here almost immediately after whatever happened and you can see in this corner of the room, there's like some sort of like dated bits and a diary and the diary just starts to get like starts off pretty sane and then a few days in it just loses all coherence wow, almost immediately um, <laughs> yeah like it, he just he just obviously has just had this thing he's got like there's a couple of like really faded photographs pinned up that have obviously mm. just like lost uh, it's like him and and, and uh, a kid uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah um, and yeah it's just it's just after that the madness is just spread throughout the room and it's just jars of stuff that he's collected and oh, bits no. of this like legs of spiders all like all these kind of like bits and bobs the like fangs venom uh different dinosaurs piss so he can try and hide his scent as he's going around oh, the island okay all that kind yeah. of stuff wow. um, That's smart. Uh, so is there anything in particular that you are you you're trying to get out of here i think he's going to 
knowing, like, thinking he's probably going to go with these people because uh, he wants to continue dispensing dinosaur facts. Uh, I'm going to grab, yeah, some of the jars that I think might be useful of, like, uh, one jar of, like, one of the big dinosaurs piss. Can you give I'll me... Let's have an Allosaurus piss. It's <laughs> fun yes. to say Allosaurus. Can you give me a scavenge roll? Yeah, absolutely. But I'll give you a bonus. Uh, I'm going to say you cannot miss on this dice roll. Um, if you roll a miss, then it'll just count as the lower level success because okay. this is your place. This sure. is uh, previously previously mm. established. Okay. Um, unless you roll a double one. If you roll a double one, oh my god, it's dino time. Okay, dino time. It's not dino time. It that was an eleven. An eleven. Great. Okay. Yeah. You basically find uh, name name whatever you want. Uh, big jar of Allosaurus piss, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, let's say um, the. I've got like a, a series of like models that I've taken from one of the uh, facilities, and they're all the esophaguses of different dinosaurs. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're trying to reference the second worst thing these, in these, Jurassic these Park. These three D printed esophaguses. <laughs> yeah, three D printed esophaguses that they were using in certain areas of the park, and I've got those. So I'm just going to shove them all in a bag. Okay, I absolutely hate and love that. <laughs> um, also, while you do a scavenge, you are able to tell a story. In one corner of the room, there, there's this like, sort of almost as it happened. Uh, this was when we first moved into the room. There's clearly like a kind of like area that has not been touched by quite as much madness as the rest of the room. Um, and it's got in the very center of it this sort of faded Polaroid uh, photograph of him and a small boy. Um, and the boy is wearing, uh, he's got like a kind of, he's got this kind of scraggly hair and he's a bit messy and he's wearing dungarees. Um, and you've got this kind of, yeah, this picture of a life that was led by the man on the inside of this suit. And then the rest of it is just nuts. Absolute <laughs> chaos. I. Love this. Um, <laughs> as you kind of come, as you come back out uh, to uh, to the rest of the group, they are stood on this gangway, and you can hear raised voices. Mm. Uh, you come out, and you first see uh, Casper, the friendly boy, is there, and uh, Natasha is stood stood as well. Um, down the end of the gangway, there's this kind of crazy, bedraggled, uh, hairy figure. Um, but Alistair Biggins is pointing a gun at that figure, shouting, You're the one! You did this all! We've got to kill him! Shoot him, boy! Shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> got, you've got a gun! <laughs> Alistair Biggins doesn't get his own hands dirty. He gets the hands of a child dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. Well, I guess he, Alistair Biggins gave his gun to Casper. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, to be fair. <laughs> so you're just holding up my hands while I'm holding the gun. Yeah, like he's... ghost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, but he said he's going to turn on the power. No, we can't trust him. He's the one. He turned off the power in the first. He's the, he's trying to kill us all. Did you turn off the power in the first place? Why, why would I turn the power off and try to turn it back on again? Come what? on, stop messing around. Help me with this. Someone needs Maybe. to pull that lever as soon as I pull this lever here. Well, hi. <laughs> I'm Dino D-A-N. I'm here to teach you about dinosaurs. We... We, we, we don't have time. <laughs> it's his fault. He's trying to wrestle and attack Casper uh, the Friendly Boy to take the gun what? off of you. <gasps> if you don't deal with this, Casper uh, is going to be injured. <gasps> we have to. We have to shoot him. Uh, um... Shoot him! <laughs> shoot him! <laughs> Can I use? So have we advanced at this point? Yeah, you've advanced. So uh, can I use um, uh, both uh, my ah uh, <laughs> um, move, I suppose it is, uh, which is where wherever you cry out to another hero for help, they must answer your call, and also inspire heroism, uh, which is when another hero puts your needs above their own safety, including in response to an ah, any roles they make are improved by one level. Yeah, 100% you can do that. Yeah. Who are you crying out to help from? Um, I, I suppose you're probably closest. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, uh, yeah, you're probably closest. But then 
you might be my father. <laughs> <laughs> Roll your dice. We'll see what happens. Yeah, see what happens. I don't remember you. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm gonna, I, well, it, I don't actually roll. It's oh. actually just, I just go, ah, and I inspire okay. the person who saves me. Okay. So okay. Decide? Well, I think actually that probably does twig something <gasps> in yeah. Dino D A. Oh, yeah. there's, a, there's a, there's a moment and you just, you just hear him go, well, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just, I'm going to use my hoarder ability, which is the one I just got for advancing, uh, which is you've scavenged many useful things on the island. Um, I feel like I would give you, if you want to have if, a, yeah, it some was kind one of, of things, a spider weapon. Yeah. 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 Right. Into that just a little fang. I'm just going to just and literally walk up behind and just go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then this will be a take my hand roll, uh, help someone else in trouble, roll mm. whatever makes the most sense. Yeah, uh, it's literally just a roll to yeah. I think basically apply the venom at the point that's probably going to be the most oh, yeah. crippling. So I'm okay. aiming basically just to go jugular. Mm. So it just immediately ends. Feels like a clever roll. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Cool. Yeah. Uh, that is a thank God for this. That's a that's a miss. That's a six. <laughs> yep, but that's treated as a seven to nine. Yeah, because I inspired your heroism. Okay, well you get to so it's a mixed success. Either you solve the problem, but you create one for yourself, or you two are separated from the rest of the group. Ooh. Tumble over the gantry into the bowels of the bunker, or... So you either solve the problem, or we're just straight up separate without solving the problem, or the problem's solved and that thing happens. Uh, I will say, like, it'll get, it'll definitely get Casper out of danger. Um, Alistair definitely. Biggins might still be on the gangway, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I'll say, in this tussle, you guys will tumble off of the gangway and be separated. But you're not—I'm not, not going to injure you or hurt you or anything. But we're going to—we're going to split the party. Oh, let's split the party. Um, also, <laughs> we will say you guys were looking for radios. You had gone to the um, security room earlier. I'm going to assume everyone has a walkie-talkie at this stage. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When we got the yeah. uh, like the shields and stuff, we would have. Not those. you. Dave's dead. <laughs> Dave, oh, Dave is Dave. dead. Yeah. No Grumpy his... wild man's got nothing. <laughs> uh, Grumpy wild man can have a walkie-talkie. <laughs> no, no, fine. He doesn't have to. <laughs> He's got uh, an old-timey radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys. Uh, you go and you uh, do jab Alistair Biggins uh, with with this thing, and I think it's more a paralytic than it is a than an actual like poison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean? and it kind of throws him off, but he sort of like kicks away from you two, uh, or like he goes to like throw throw another attack into uh, Casper the friendly boy, and you manage to take the blow for him. But in the process, as you drag him out of the way, you tumble one way over this gantry mm -hmm. and uh, are just fall down into the darkness below, where you can't quite see how deep down it is. Casper, mm -hmm. you're gone with him. Oh. Well. Uh, <laughs> right now, Natasha, you're stood there. Oh, Alistair Biggins ow. is <laughs> groggily like crutch, clutching his neck, which is already kind of beginning to swell. You gotta, we gotta kill him, and he's. I need a gun. Sweet Alistair Biggins, calm down, <laughs> calm down now. Let's talk about this like grown-ups. Who are you? It doesn't matter. We've got to fix the problems. We've got to turn on the generator. Help me. I, I have, who are? What is your name? That doesn't matter right <laughs> now. <laughs> Did you? Ta -ta, sh shut all the power off. This is why we all die. People from the. Past have come no, up. No, no, that maybe. happened weeks ago. I'm here to fix it. Okay. We've got to, we've got to fix everything. There's so much to do. We can't afford to fight. Okay, sweet Alistair, you need to calm down. <laughs> Relax. He's, Alistair's looking real groggy, <laughs> and real unhappy. Maybe we let him rest. Oh. Eh? We let Alistair rest. He's, I could a, he's help had him. a long day. I could so help you. Um, I think Alistair Biggins is going to go and try and just attack you with his hands, his bare wow. hands. Wow. Alistair Biggins ain't super chill about any of this. Okay, the is there any like rope or anything we can like tie him up with? Uh, do you have a rope? Uh, it's okay. I have my first aid kit inside is uh morphine <laughs> i calm him down okay if you want, give me a just do it roll if okay. you want to try and sedate alistair biggins okay i sedate him uh what's the just do it again uh right i rolled an eight 
get a plus on that? You get plus you get steady. Plus, yeah, plus steady. Plus steady, so I got nine. Okay. Uh, right, you slipped, hesitated, or cut corners. The it doesn't matter. DM <laughs> will offer you a hard choice. Um, I will say you can, uh, you can sedate him, mm -hmm. and it will be fine. Uh, but he will injure you in the process. Oh, it's okay. I can heal myself afterwards. I take it. Okay, you plunge this syringe into his neck, and at the the same time, he has pulled. Like a pocket knife from his uh, sort of security belt and plunge that into your stomach. Ooh. Oh, oh my Swift god! god. Ooh. <laughs> 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 uh, and Ooh. he slowly passes out. <sighs> You've not seen the last of <laughs> Alistair Biggins! <laughs> <laughs> and just collapses. God, what wow. a fucking heel turn yeah. for my boy. Yeah. Yeah. Exciting character, the Red Blood Collapses <laughs> to the ground. <laughs> the Red Blood Blood. It's uh, how you say it in your home country. They might come through, it's yeah, how you yeah. say <laughs> <laughs> But he leaves the knife stuck, stuck Ooh. in your stomach. Oh, oh my God. That is shame, but no big deal. I, <laughs> I've had worse. I told you earlier about the giraffe eyebrows. This is, <laughs> this, giraffe this eyebrows. is no issue whatsoever. I have a first aid kit, pen light, a container of pain pills. I take a couple of those right now. Actually, I'm not a pussy. I'm not going to take the pain pills. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> just, are you just saying this to the crazy wild man? <laughs> <laughs> First thing you need to know about me. I need to have your rough eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can heal myself. It is a, a special I have, so not, okay. not a big deal. Well, as you tinker away with uh, the, um, the the machinery, mm. uh, we will say that you are kind of trying to patch yourself up. But I'm going to mm. cut down to uh, Dino D-A-N and Casper the Friendly Boy, where you fell like a much longer way than you were expecting. Mm -hmm. And with a splash, um, you have landed, like water has broken your fall, so you are not injured at all. It's not super deep, maybe like about, about four feet. And uh, like it's kind of like running water. Mm. And Casper, you get the feeling that this is some kind of like setup that's being used uh, the running water going through this is to kind of like keep all of the machinery cool. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I th oh you, think, you think these like geothermal, <laughs> geothermal, <laughs> <laughs> these geothermal generators, which are somehow tied into the the lava from the volcano, but they need to be heavily cooled. And this water supply is just running water that must be being pulled from the lake, which is right next to this place, mm -hmm. um, and uh, pumped through it. And yeah, so you guys are now deep in the bowels. Well, this is just an insane idea. What? What? What's an insane idea? This water being used to cool these machinery parts. Oh, yeah, it is insane. <laughs> uh, it, you have to be mental. To it's the idea of an idiot. <laughs> I would agree with that. <laughs> but deep down, you know, like, it, it works. Well. <laughs> yeah. It works so well. Oh, a single tear to stay. Yeah, yeah. There's a single tear as, as he realizes he was a genius. <laughs> <laughs> he was an unrealized genius. <laughs> uh, and you hear a splash somewhere else in the in this place. And that concludes this episode of Escape from Dino Island. What a tearjerker. I really hope you guys are enjoying a slightly different kind of game. What dino fun we're having. Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, uh, let, let us know down below. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think is going on. How you think you'd escape a dinosaur island. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye.